Congratulations, Fun Size. What a great movie. Thank you. So it's got a bit of everything. I mean, there's a bit of humor, some action, a little bit of romance. Definitely. But what was it about the script or even about your character that really made you want to be a part of it? Um, I think all of those things that you just mentioned. I love, I love the comedy aspect of Fun Size. I think there are a lot of hilarious, unexpected moments, like the chicken falling on the car, for example. Um, and, I, and I love the romance in it. I think, you know, my character Ren is kind of torn between Roosevelt, who's this sweet, kind of nerdier, play by the rules kind of guy, and then Aaron Riley, who's the hot stud guy at school. Um, and I think it all around has a lot of heart to it as well. Okay, and you have some pretty funny co-stars in this film. I mean, comedy genius Chelsea Handler, <laughs> and then there's Little Jackson, who's just hilarious, both on and off the screen. Yes. How did you keep a straight face on set while you were filming this movie? <laughs> Um, my scenes with Jackson, it was it was hard to keep a straight face sometimes because he's so he's adorable first of all, but he's like in real life he's one of the feistiest kids I have ever met. Um, and then Chelsea, Chelsea was great to work with. We actually don't have that many scenes together, but uh, when we did shoot together, she you know she's really quick on her feet, did some improv that was fun, and um, yeah, she's really nice. Okay, and. The whole Halloween idea. Do you have a memorable Halloween experience? Um, God, I have to think about that for a sec. A memorable Halloween experience. Mm, I, honestly, I can't think of anything amazing. I don't know. <laughs> okay, what about, what's the best costume you've ever seen? The best costume I've, I've ever seen? Mm -hmm. Not that I've dressed up as. Or that you've dressed up as. Oh. Um, <laughs> hmm. I mean, I think the best costume I've ever seen was actually when we were filming Fun Size, there was a girl that was dressed up as a headless bride. And so her face was like in the stomach area of the dress and then it was like cut off at the top and it looked oh, wow. really cool. I loved it. Okay, and you've been acting since you were quite young. <laughs> so where did that drive come from at such a young age to get into this? You know, I think I've always been really creative and I've loved performing since I was little. And I kind of grew up around my mom is very much into, she's a huge film buff and was always introducing me to all different genres of music. And so I kind of grew up around that and she would always take me to the theater with her and uh, it was just something that I, I took a, a liking to and at a young age I really wanted to pursue it and give it a try and so I did. <laughs> so has there been a movie or an actor that's kind of been an inspiration for you in your career? I'm a huge John Hughes fan, so I grew up watching Pretty in Pink and The Breakfast Club and Sixteen Candles, and I always said I wanted to be a part of a movie that was similar to that, and I think Fun Size embodies that in a lot of ways, which is very cool. And I, I love Cameron Crowe. Almost Famous is one of my favorite movies of all time, so I would love to work with him one day. Okay, so what's next for you? You have a debut album coming out. I do. What else is coming up for you? Um, I have had a solo record deal outside of Nickelodeon and Victoria since I was 16, so I've written over like 40 songs now and I've been working on my album for a while, but I'm releasing my first single and the full album next year, so it's a, that's very exciting. And I mean, I'm really passionate about acting, obviously, I've been doing it since I was little and I, I love film, so I want to continue to do that. Well, thank you so much, Victoria, it was an absolute pleasure. <laughs> thank you. And congratulations on Fun Size. Thank you so much.